Hey everyone, it's Nate Cruzy from Cruzy Manufacturing, and today I'm going to show you something that I'm kind of teaching myself at the moment about Fusion 360 and how to export the data points for manually programming a lathe, like the coordinates of the part. Uh, so let's say you get assigned a model, you have a model of a part you need to make. Uh, the first thing we want to do is make sure that this part is at the origin of the design space. And so I intentionally designed it this way so it wasn't. So I'm going to hit the move command, hit the bodies, and then on my origin point, I'm going to select the center point here at the front face. Uh, if you hold control, it helps you select that point. And then for the target point, I am going to go to the origin up here and hit the O point. And as you can see, it now moved the sketch where the origin is at the front center of our part. And now I want to create a sketch. And I'm going to go in the X XZ plane here. We're going to hit P for project. We're going to project that body. And now I'm going to hide the body. And I'm going to start drawing lines. So I only want half the part, so I'm going to draw a line from there to there. And then I'm going to delete this existing line. Draw a line from there to there. I'm going to go ahead and just fill in all of these projected lines. Uh, same thing down here. I'm going to delete that existing line, draw a new line from there to there. And that should just about do it. Delete all that. Okay, so now we have a sketch. And it is a closed sketch, uh, which I think Fusion calls profiles, which is what we need for this script to run. So I found a script from uh, Mod the Machine. I tried using it. I've ran into some issues where like the numbers it gave me were funky, but I figured out, I think, what was going on. So there's some kind of conversion or something going on. But basically, to get the numbers that I want in inches, I had to divide this by 2.54. There's 25.4 millimeters in an inch. Something weird was going on with a factor of 10 in there. But I divided the X and the Y by 2.54. And because this is actually going to be our Z and this is going to be our X, uh, I'll show you what I did. So to create a, uh, that, that add-in utility, that script, you go to utilities, add-ins, scripts and add-ins, uh, create, Python, just put in whatever description you want here. You take create, it would show up here, and you can edit it. And I just pasted in that code from Mod the Machine's website. And the only changes I made were I divided by 2.54 here. And because this is going to be our X values, we want diameters, not radii. So I took divided by 2.54 to get the conversion right. And then the absolute value, because it was giving me all negative values. Um, and then two times that to get the diameter instead of the radius. So that's the script I'm running. So to run it, you have to select a profile. So I have to click that area in there. It has to be a completely closed body. Uh, I'm going to run the script. I'm going to call it video sketch. going to ex ready exist. have to overwrite it. Let me open that up. Okay, so this is what it gives us. I'm just going to make this half the screen here. All right, so I'm going to hide that too. So to make this a little easier to read, let me zoom in for you. Okay, I'm going to insert a row. I'll just right click there, insert. This is going to be our Z, and this is going to be our X diameter. And now I'm going to, oops, don't do whatever that is. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to hit Control T. My table has headers. This creates a table. I just like everything in tables. Um, and now I'm going to go data, sort. I'm going to sort by Z first. And because these are negative, I'm going to go smallest to largest. And then I'm going to sort the X diameter largest to smallest. Is that what I wanted? Let's double check that. So, uh, yeah, I said that backwards. Z is largest to smallest. X is smallest to largest. Perfect. Okay, so now we have our geometry here. So this is our zero point. Zero, zero. Uh, Z0, X.5, come back a quarter inch to a half inch. This is all looking good. 
So this number, 0.193867, that's probably strange because um, that angle in there just gave us a weird length. I didn't define the length. I set the angle instead. Uh, so I'm going to format the cells to have four decimal places because that's what my machine can handle. Okay, so let me just double check. I'm just going to draw a dimension from the beginning to the end here. Come on, dimension. 2.437. Okay, so those numbers look good. Now the whole reason I started doing this was because I want to manually compensate for tool news radius because if you don't do it, like it can gouge your part on our roughing cycle unless you leave a whole bunch of stock to leave. Um, and so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to make we're still in this original sketch. I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to make a new sketch on this plane. Let me go to full screen on Fusion here. Okay, now I'm going to project. I'm not going to do the whole body. I'm going to do the specific entities. So we're just going to select these points. And we'll project those. Now I'm going to hide sketch 2 because that's where those came from. Uh, and I'm going to offset this line, this line, this line, this line, and this line. And I'm going to offset it um, 0.0313. I guess it wants a positive now for some reason. It was negative before. 0.0313. Okay. So, just to give you an explanation of why I'm doing that, so I'm using a tool that has a tool nose radius of a 30 second for my roughing. And so, I'm just going to draw a circle here with a 1 16th diameter. So, that's going to be, you know, the radius here is a 30 second. So, if we program like just the this point, I guess, to Z0. It'll be it'll work fine on that face, right? Because uh, it'll cut with this edge, and it'll work fine here because we'd program it to here, and it would cut with that face. But where it messes you up, and I'm learning this the hard way, as I have parts that were due on Monday, and it's currently Friday, and I don't have the parts made. Um, let's see, one sixteenth. Okay, so here's where you get into trouble. If I, let's just really make this clear. I'm going to draw a line here and draw a line here and say that that line is tangent to that circle and that line is tangent to that circle. Okay, so basically, just for even more emphasis, because it took me a while to wrap my head around this. So that points tangent to that. I wish those lines were coincident. Let's try that. Okay. So, does it let me drag this still? It does. Okay, so, basically if we programmed uh, a facing move at Z0, it's going to program this point, even though our tool has a physical radius on it, right? And so on a face, that doesn't matter because this part this part of the radius will cut and that's all fine. And now if we come over here, imagine the lines are there. I'm not going to draw them again. But this point down here, it's cutting with this side of the radius, and so that's fine. But this is where we get into trouble. If I were to rough this part using without tool nose radius compensation, I would be programming this point... Um, into the part and so if let's say I actually draw a circle at that point uh, 1 16th maybe I'm not doing that right but anyways what's going to happen is you're going to gouge this part or undercut it I guess if it might be undercutting it on this side but if I had a taper down here it would be overcutting it but regardless, I want it to be the true profile. So that's why I'm going to program the part at the center 
the center point of this radius. And so that's why I'm offsetting this by the tool nose radius. So let me get all this extra bonus material out of the way here. Okay, so we offset these profiles. I am going to draw, actually I'm gonna delete this line. Delete that line. Ooh, that looks scary now. Okay. Delete, 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 delete. Okay. I don't know why it didn't draw it there. What's this guy doing? Get rid of that. We don't want any extraneous lines in here because if we coordinate to coordinates, it's going to show up and we don't want that. Okay, so now I have a new profile and I'm going to use my utility again. Add in scripts, export. We're gonna call this video 0.0313. It already exists, but we're making a new one. This is our last video sketch. Uh, here's the new one. Okay. So, again, I'm going to say that this is Z and this is X diameter. I'm going to control T to create a table. And I'm going to sort first by Z from largest to smallest because they're negative values. And then X from smallest to largest. Okay. So, I think I missed a little extraneous line somewhere. I wonder if I can fix that. Because I'm getting a zero, zero point here and I should not be getting a zero, zero point. Yep, that's why. There was a segment from there to there. So, okay, I'm just gonna close this. Don't save. Select my profile again. Utilities, add in scripts. Export, call it the same thing, 0.0313. Okay, let that open up. It opened up on my other screen. Diffusion. Oh, come on. Okay, so, probably getting sick of this, but it is a little monotonous but I think it's better than trying to dimension a sketch to get these points. Especially if you're gonna offset multiple tools like I plan on. So we're gonna sort, I gotta select it first. Sort Z from largest to smallest because it's negative. X from smallest to largest. Okay, so now we have our points, and let's just double check them. Uh, from there to there is point two eight. I can't see it. Point two eight one. I think it says point two eight one three. So let's just check that. If we go point two eight one three times two, point five six two six. So that that one's perfect. Um. Oh my goodness! Stop that. Okay, so I think that gives us the points that we want. And then we'll just double check one more point, our diameter here, 0.7813 equals 0.7813 times two. Didn't need a whole column of that, but yeah, so there you go. And then uh, if you wanna make a new sketch, you would just offset it for a different tool radius and this gives you the points. And then you just copy this into your, uh, your hand code and I'm kind of split. I thought about modeling in chamfers on here, like edge breaks. Um, but I think I'm going to try to do that in the code manually. 
And the thing you have to work out, you have to think, remember for that is that if you're putting a, like a radius, a fillet on the edge of a part, you have to account for it twice in X and only once in Z. But uh, once I start actually programming the part again, I'm going to see if I think it makes more sense to put the geometries into, uh, into fusion directly. But I don't think it would give you like center points. So, and with all these decimals, I don't know if it's worth messing around with. I might just do it by hand to make sure that I, you know, the controller can actually connect those points with a curve. So, uh, shout out to Mod the Machine for providing this code. Uh, provided a little, you know, make those little tweaks that I put in there and it gives you something that makes sense to me at least. So uh, hopefully this can be useful to somebody. And uh, yeah, keep on improving, guys. Have a good one.